Welcome back to more Old Realms mod, the Warhammer Fantasy overhaul for Mountain Blade to Bannerlord. So they've just released their Knights and Saints update, which adds in Bretonia um, and Moussion to the game, to the map. Um, we're going to be doing a little bit of a mini series. We're going to play as a Knight of Bretonia, see if we can get a load of cavalry and face down the undead. And I don't know, maybe charge into the Chaos Portal once again um, over the next like yeah five to ten episodes we'll probably do it across four or five streams over the next couple of weeks so uh let's enter the old world where you'll see things have changed once we've done this if there's enough interest i'm more than happy to come back to the mod and check out Moussion uh and be a vampire blood knight because i haven't actually checked out the vampires for quite some time so here we go we've now got them as a, their own dedicated culture so you've got Bretonia or you've got Moussion um so yeah undead knights basically but here we go. Look at that artwork. It's glorious. Absolutely stunning. So here we go. Bretonia. The kingdom of Bretonia is a land renowned for its powerful knights and their strong sense of chivalry. Guided by the fey enchantress and the damsels of the lady, the peasants toil while their noble lords protect them from the many dangers threatening their survival. In times of war, the whole kingdom can be joined together, led in a crusade against their enemies by King Luon Lienker, against which no foe has known victory. So, here we go. Right, let's not spend too much time here, but I think we're just going to create myself. That'll, that'll do. Also, I've decided a name for this character. You know how we kind of created the Legend of Tyrion and the Legend of Richard? I don't know if this is going to be something that lasts all the way through, but I like the idea of calling this guy Fritz. I just, I want to call him Fritz. I know that's not exactly a Bretonian name, but I, I, he feels like a Fritz to me. This is the Adventures of Fritz, the Knight of Bretonia. So there we go. So, choose our origin. Uh, Bretonian nobility. Oh, my days. Bretonian peasants. Bretonian sailors. Outlaws. Or wine merchants. Who doesn't love some wine? Um, it's got to be nobility. I mean, we don't start off with that helm, but... Fritz is clearly of a great noble house here. My teenage years was a Bretonian courtier and man-at-arms. Man-at-arms! A wanted criminal... An apprentice craftsman or a shepherd. Um, I think I'm, I've got. To, I'm going to go men at arms. I think here. What do we get at this point? Uh, that gives us additional engineering, athletics, two-handed, and pole arm mastery. Yeah, we want more pole arms for the uh, for the cavalryness. Or I could be a courtier. Courtier or men at arms. What do we think, chat? The imperial immigrant to Bretonia named Fritz. Exactly. Exactly. I've come from the empire. Man at arms. Let's become a man at arms. Okay, choose your profession. Your starting profession is gonna be a knight errant. I could be a damp. I could be a damsel of the lady. Are you sure? I'm assuming I'll then have magic. <laughs> Fritz, the damsel of the lady. Maybe we'll have to do a damsel run at some point. Um, it's gonna be a knight. I know you guys are really tempted to see me as a damsel. Maybe, maybe, maybe Fritz has a sister. Petita. The parents were not very good at naming their children. <laughs> she looks like a Fritz. Looks like she's on the Fritz. <laughs> Fritz. Fritz and Fritz. <laughs> will be the knight errant. Oh, there we go. That, you know, I think we've chosen right with that beard. Look how fabulous it looks. Yes. I am a knight errant. Uh, we're playing this on Bandlord difficulty. Enable birth and aging. That, that's fine. Uh, right. Start the game. Do I start with a horse then? Oh, that's dangerous. Uh, Fritz, right, we're we're an, uh, an immigrant from the Empire, so I feel like we should go for, like, a, yeah, like a castle. Yeah, let's go Fritz von Castleton. Von Castleton, his story is born. Oliver, no, 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 we will be Fritz. Fritz von Castleton. Let our adventure begin. Apparently, there is a potential for the game to crash when you do a tournament. So, remind me to save before we go into a tournament. Here we go. God, already, look at the gloriousness of this map. So, um, let's just zoom out and see where we are. Whee! We're about here, I think. Up into Paravon. So, yeah, this is the part of the map that we've seen before. You've got the kind of lower part of the Empire. Blackfire Pass there. And then all the way into Sylvania. So I think 
I don't know what they were necessarily working on next, but I feel like orcs and dwarves. They've got to expand Britonia a little bit because they've kind of only got the southern and central part of it. They haven't got this northern section. So they haven't actually got Lewin in here yet. They've just got the Fey Enchantress. But there's Moussillon. You'll have vamps over there. But you've got Bordelo. You've got... Um, what's this one? Aquitaine. Yeah. Arcson. Dukedom of Brion. You've got Paravon to the north. You've got Montfort. That links up with the Empire, obviously, through those mountain passes and things like that. You've got the Blood Keep here. Order the Blood Dragon Knights. Right. Um, well, we need to become a Lord. Um, something, though, we should just check out is that uh, as a Knight of Bretonia, we have career options that they've added in. This whole this whole section here. So we have the Knightly Charge, which I'm, uh, I'm assuming is bound to Q, which is what you previously casted spells with if you're a spellcaster. Um, so nightly charge, the knight prepares a devastating charge mounted or on foot for the next six seconds. When mounted, the knight receives perk buffs as well as 20% chance of his lance not bouncing off after a couch lance attack. So great for couching lance. Uh, we've then got at this early stage, we can be a knight errant. Then you, when you have renown tier two, you can become a questing knight. And uh, at tier four renown, you can become a grail knight. And there's lots of different things that you pop points into. Every time you level up, you get a, a point to spend. So to start with, we can go into errantry war. Each point we'll start off with uh, gives us a, a different bonus. You start off with, you can go for 10% extra melee damage, increase hit points by 40. All night troops receive 20 bonus points in one and two handed skills. All melee troops in the party gain 25 XP per day and 10% uh, extra physical damage during nightly charge. The ability scales with the one handed skill uh, as well. And then you've also got enhanced uh, horse combat. So you can go through all of these as well. Uh, giving you lots of different buffs and bonuses. Can't check out the questing vow, monster slayer or master horseman options yet because we need to be renowned tier two I'm honestly blown away by the fact they've added in this whole mechanic and system and it, you know it works <laughs> look at it it's just here so you go through that so that's just off your your character screen so we can already pop a point into pole arms let's do that we're gonna go cavalry aren't we um riding full speed or nimble i'm going full speed so there we go i think they've they've flushed out all of these skills as well which is which is pretty good i think gunpowder maybe is still a bit janky i don't know haven't been able to see like all the different like patch notes and updates between um this build and the previous one but it looks it looks really promising i love that you've got careers in there though because that opens up a whole world of like potential i think for for future um future additions and things like that we just need to do that then it's locked in um so there we go Oh, my days. Look at me. I've got my horse. What have I got? I've got a charger. Got a men at arms sword. Knight errant shield. Oh, look at that. Lovely shield. We got the knight lance as well. We start off pretty well. Meld shoulder reinforcements. That's really cool. The armor stuff is grand. I look fabulous. Um, yeah, wood elves aren't on the map. You don't have Athaloran. Athaloran would be in here. I'm assuming that big tree, I don't know if it's just a random plonk one because there are some other ones all around, but I'm wondering if that is meant to be the location of the Oak of Ages, perhaps, in the center. But you can kind of see that's, I assume, where Wood Elves will eventually go when they put in Athel Lauren. Um, you can go down to the further part of the map. This will be like a Telia down here. The Skaven Blight should be there. Then you've got Estalia all down here. So they are expanding the map. This is just insane what they're doing here. Like it, I, It's going to take probably a good few more years for them to... Add in all the additional factions and content and mechanics and stuff. But oh boy, is this going to be insane when they're done with it. Uh, anyway, let's um, go roaming around. Um, oh, there's some outlaws there. Let's see if we can recruit some knights. No, we're going to get peasants to start with. Um, I'm going to avoid recruiting them just to start with. If I'm going to get them and we can get some yeomen. If not, I might go for some... The archers would be useful. Some longbowmen foot squires which still get absolutely trampled in uh, warhammer 3 anyway still to this day but yeah that's their that's their list of units there they also do have a dedicated knight tree i think i need to go to this village here and there should be some knights available to recruit we've only got a thousand starting gold but we don't actually need that many here we go bretonian nobles so this is the line for dedicated elite cavalry nobles go into knight errant knights errant into knights of the realm and then Knights of the Realm into Questing Knights. And Questing Knights into Grail Knights. Don't know if there are any extra sets. Although they've got to compile some shaders. Yeah, they're beautiful. So that's what we're going to get. But they do cost a bit of money 
already. But with just a few of them, we should be able to tackle some outlaws. I'd rather not face all of those together. So I'm going to go for this band of outlaws here. 13 Hello, of them. Traveler. Hello, Hello Traveller. See, we're what you might call brigands. And I'm afraid we can't let you pass without paying us a bit of coin. Right. Fight me if you dare, then. Right, let's do it. Hey, Buck, I can't say him. Just having the right towers and building a city is a big plus. Yeah, definitely. Like, the, the look of it is fantastic. Right. Cavalry. Charge! Charge! That's one outlaw down. First blood to Fritz and friends. Oh. This week's just turned into me playing as a cavalryman, really, hasn't it? Things we've got our cav only challenge on Warhammer 3 tomorrow. Come here. Nyah. Right in the face. Come on. Nyah. Yeah. I've also got my blade, haven't I? Give me it. Give me it. Oh, it's not as long as I think it is. Giggity. Oh, boom. I've also got the dismemberment mod on because it, it works with this wonderfully. Which is grand. We're doing well. We're doing well. Thankfully, these guys don't know to use the pointy end of their spears, it would seem. They've not had the Arya Stark uh, training. Sticking with the pointy end. Nor have I, apparently. Although, I will give them props, because how you can effectively dodge a, a thrust at treat. How you can dodge a thrust by just holding your whole arm out in front of you like that is beyond me. That's amazing. Parry the thrust. Okay, so I've got my nightly charge. So I'm just going to see if this will work. I'm assuming I need to press Q to activate it. Oh, I need to press Q while I'm not doing anything else. No, nope. is it Q? Nope. The button is not Q. Uh, anyone able to find out what the button is for the nightly charge? Pressed it the other day. And it randomly activated. But I'm not sure what it was. <laughs> I haven't played Battle Lord in over a year. Happy to see the Warhammer Overhaul mod. Is it flesh? So it's got it's got Bretonia, Vampires, both of Bretonia and of Sylvania, and Empire. It's getting there. It's getting there. You've got artillery now as well for the Empire. Like, I'd probably say I I I'd personally struggle to do like a full campaign let's play, but it can be done. There's enough stuff in there. But it's kind of, for me, it's not quite there yet. But I imagine it won't be much longer. Oh, my charge triggered. So what triggered the charge? I don't quite understand that. Oh, missed. Missed me thrust. There we go. Let me thrust you. There we go. Victory! And don't we look fabulous doing it? Well done, Fritz. Your first victory of many. Are you looking at my horse's butt? Yes, I am. Um, none of my guys died. Good. Wonderful. Now we can upgrade one of them to be a uh, knight errant. Wonderful. Oh, the mustache game gets stronger as you upgrade them. I love it. Yeah, give me your stuff because we need to sell all this to get some money. Oh, old realms. Oh, spellcasting. Here we go. Special move. Left alt. Ah, here we go. There is it. Wow. Look at that. They've even added in that. That's amazing. So it'll be left alt that I need to press to activate it. There we go. Where's the nearest settlement? Oh, at, at Castle Aquitaine up there. Let's go up there then. If anyone comes to attack me, we'll have them. Well, dear oh, traveler, two groups. We've just made landfall in these lands. Have you? Hoping for a bit of luck with the raiding and pillaging. And aren't you a sight for sore eyes? <laughs> well, uh, fight me if you dare. 22 versus 4. This could this could go poorly. Okay, so we press left alt. Oh. 
Bretonians! Bretonians! Advance. Oh, they've got archers. That was a huge amount of damage. This isn't going to go well. Ah! Ah! Charge. Whoa. Oh. Run, Fritz, run. I mean, I feel like the knight should be strong enough to eventually have these guys. Uh, yeah, nice. It's another one down. Oh, my guy's on the floor. Oh, no, he's been taken down. Are we down to just... Oh, no, we're okay. Okay, I can do my nightly charge. I've got to remember that. Left alt apparently activates it. So here we go. Here we go. Yeah, that seemed like to be an increase in damage. Okay, come on. I think we can have him. Nice. Got him. Imagine when I have like a, even just like 10 knights just charging a peasant battle line. Come on. I'm charging in. Another one. Gain another level. Yes! Charge them down. Beautiful. Well done. Victorious. That guy just got wounded as well. Perfect. Lionheart, good with cavalry. Who'd have thunk it? Who'd have thunk it? Oh, Knight of the Realm. Um, upgrade. Yeah, I'm not going to upgrade to that just yet because I'm going to upgrade those guys. We need to get a bit more, a bit more gold together. I'm hoping I can sell all this stuff. And that'll be enough. Rover capacity right now. Gone up a level as well. So that should mean I've got some... Oh, wow, I've got loads of points because we've gone up quite a few levels. Um, let's go for more in endurance because of, like, riding. Uh, veterinary, personal and leader, hit points, well strapped. Chance of your mount dying or becoming lame after it falls in battle. Now we'll go for veterinary. And then boost my pole arm. Boost my one-handed as well because I've got a sword as a backup. And let's go into here. And we're going to go through all of our errantry war stuff first. So that now gives us all melee troops uh, in the party gain 25 XP per day. All knight troops receive 20 bonus points in one and two-handed skills. Uh, increase the hit points by 40 and 10% extra melee damage. Beautiful. Wait, we've got to no, we've got to apply these before we go and do that. Double check those went in. Yeah, nice. And how do we... I need to check my plan tier, don't we? We need to get to tier 1... No, tier 2 renown to be able to get to the next stage here. Questing knight. That's why you've got those two skills at the bottom to do it. Right, let's try... Oh, there's a tournament here. Give that a go, but we do need to remember to save in case it crashes. I saw some people saying it could crash. Bait fruit. Okay, yeah, well, that was worth a bit of money. I'm going to sell that, actually. Um, right. 
assuming none of this is better than what I start with because you start off with some pretty nice. We've got questing night gloves. Yeah, sell all that. Um, yeah, I've got space for one more thing. It'll probably be like a two-handed sword, to be fair. Maybe something to throw. Now that they chuck it all in, gonna get a load of gold. What have they got? That's their best thing. Masterwork steel. Um, Shez top your. Okay. Got a unique item. I'm assuming they've added in some stuff. Oh, here we go. Bretonian heavy cloth. Oh, that's what I've currently got. That's the top one. Fine Bretonian chainmail coif. Battle pilgrim show. Oh, yeah, battle pilgrims. I need a I need a cloak. That's what I need. I need a cool cloak. Right. Um, let's just save. New campaign. Fritz won. Before we do this tourney. See what Bretonian tournaments are like. Oh. Oh, my health is too low. Okay, let's wait for some time then. Heal up. Last time I tried it, spells were too strong. I mean, I'm not sure if... I think that's kind of intentional because, like, I mean, it's magic, right? They're meant to be powerful. Bonkers powerful. Um, they do do a lot of damage, though. I wonder if they might scale it back a smidge. Um, so I think my Gandalf the Bright series that I did... I mean, the magic was was real strong. The artillery was real strong as well. All round, it was just very, very strong. Lots of fun was had. Oh, my days. Oh, yeah, I should have ransomed them, shouldn't I? Oh. Let me talk to you, Gilbert. Yours is not a face I know. What is your name, stranger? My name is Fritzer. Born to a noble family from Carcassonne. My father was a knight before me. It's my duty to become a knight, and I am currently on my quest to gain the favor of the lady. Hope you achieve what you set out to do. If you use somebody like you in my company. 15k? I cannot afford you. Because I'd probably just steal your helm right now. Not gonna lie. Let's just leave. Was the lady? Um, yeah, we're gonna keep waiting. In we go. Join the tournament. What are we fighting over? The Bone Crusher. I mean, I'm gonna sell it, whatever it is. Unless it was a cool bit of Bretonian armor. He says as if I'm gonna automatically win this uh this tournament. Oh! <gasps> it's a lance off! A joust. Does he? Oh, it just turns us round automatically. Oh, that's amazing. It's just jousting. Oh, this is amazing. Oh. It's broken my shield. Trying to couch him. I've got to get enough speed up, which you don't tend to get right at the start. Ah, it's so quick with the reloading of it. Yeah. Just have to keep going until I break his shield. Got him. Or he's just trying to couch it. Especially when he does that. Doesn't give you enough speed up to get ready to couch it. It's quite difficult. And then it gives you the option, then it's like, oh, you lose all momentum. Oh. I also really don't like couching most of the time because um it leaves you way too exposed. Much prefer a well placed thrust. (laughs) 
Just got him. That couched him. Get him in the cradle. I don't think there's any point in taking out their horse because I think it just respawns them on one. You have to just take out the other character before it restarts. Ah. Got him! What's going to happen now? He's just going to spawn another horse. Oh no, I've lost my... Oh! Oh, if you dismount them, you have to continue on foot. That's cool! Oh, that's really cool. Oh, crap. No. No. So, Jacques. Why? Why? Damn it. He beat me in the final. Did you ever see the last jewel? Uh, no, I haven't. Rats. Well, we tried. That was fun, though. All right. Peasants of Bretonia. I need to find more that uh right by a castle. Because then they'll have more cavalry available. Oh, what the heck? Is that a Nurgle force? No, I don't want you. I don't want peasants. I mean, I might go get some peasants eventually. I'm just trying to see if I can do this with full cav. Because we are a knight. Might have to, though. Depends how many we can get. There's Nurgly boys running around. I mean, these guys are going to be outrageously expensive. Oh, Chaos Cultists. Yeah, there's some of them over here as well. Good fun. What is this? Cabin in the woods? As your party is traveling along, uh, you come across a cabin in the woods. I mean, nothing ever bad happened in a cabin in the woods. Let's approach the cabin. As you approach the cabin, you can see that it's heavily boarded up. The only door on the cabin seems to be locked tight. As you examine the door, you see that the door is strong and the lock on it is strong. What will your party do? Knock on the door. Pick the lock on the door. We have a 1% chance with our roguery check. Disassemble the lock. 6% um, engine, uh, 6% chance engineering check. Or break down the door. Vigor check, 100%. I mean, we're going to break down that door. Your party's strongest member attempts to break down the door. Your party bashes the door clean off its hinges. Your party gets inside the cabin and finds someone or something has stored some supplies here. Take some supplies. Five grain. Nice. Random little events appearing on the map. That's cool. There's your act. Let's go there. Ah, oh, but first, heavy. peasants who will need to die. Have I watched The King? I have watched The King uh, on Netflix. Rather enjoyed it. Kind of wish um, The Outlaw King, isn't it? Oh, wait, no, there's another one that's The King, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yes, I watched that one as well. Not out. Outlaw King is also good. But yeah, the the Henry V one's good too. That's it. Just keep crashing. I think at this point we we got enough cavalry. We can just keep crashing into them. Give them a darn good skewering. For the lady! They all dead? Oh, one last one here. For Bretonia! There we go. Job done, lads. Hur ha ha! Are there dark elves? Not yet. Maybe one day, though. <laughs> Finds a locked shed. Hey, it was a locked locked cabin uh breaks down the door still's got it that's what i call chivalry <laughs> hmm. boom give me all the stuff i know we're overburdened i need to buy some more horses don't i no dark elves yet 
Maybe one day. Brace personal shots, dismounting enemy cover when uh, heavy hit. Keep at bay. No, braced. Brace. And we can increase this and this and oh yeah, endurance. I didn't keep that. Push that up last time. Now we can go back in here and we should be able to pop in another point to Errantry War, which is going to give us 10% extra physical damage during your nightly charge. Ability scales with the one-handed skill. Boom. Nice. There's your act. Nice. That's what I want. Oh. Didn't realize they'd be so expensive. Let's go to that settlement there and sell my swag and then hunt down more outlaws. That's what we're going to do. Time for a trebuchet. <laughs> wonder if maybe you can get some. Trebuchets would be great. I really need to look at what all the stuff they've changed with this. Um, yeah, we're going to sell all these stuff because they're all worth a decent bit of money. I sell the iron ore. I don't care for that. Sell the hardwood as well. Sell the clay. Nice. Goodbye. Prophetess shoes. Don't think they're quite working. That's if you want to be the, a prophetess. A damsel. I wonder what magics they've got, actually. That'd be kind of fun. Right, rule set. Um, horses. Have we got any? Oh, wow. They are not cheap. Um, here we go. You're a pack animal. Ideally, I'd like to get these guys because they will actually increase my um, us, our party speed. How much money are we getting? A little bit. Let's just take two for now. I don't want to risk it. Need to hunt down some more rebels. Rebel scam. And avoid that big party of Nurgle. Because that looks scary. Outlaws. Yes. You stop. No, why did he be like, you? Stop. Attack. What about the helm? With that? I mean, I definitely want to get the helm with antlers on. I just can't afford it right now. Ooh, we're on the ruin map. Charge! Pause that lady! Oh, we're slowed down in the water. Not good, not good, not good. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Boom! Turn. And charge. Balls that lady! Oh, let me thrust you repeatedly. Perfect. Things we get to we get to say in this playthrough. <laughs> Is it the Knight of Bretonia campaign or things Lionheart says to Lady Lionheart? Both are applicable. Beautiful. Nice. Oh, yeah, no, take you guys. Take all that swag. Let's get a car carcasson and sell this stuff. Do, 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 do. We've gained another point. Yeah, just pop it up through that. We level up as well. Yes, so we can go through enhanced horse combat now. So what I'll give us 50% additional hit points for the player's mount. Then there's 10% extra melee damage while on horseback. Upgrade costs reduced by 25%. All knight troops receive 30 bonus points in their polearm skill, plus 20% speed during the ability, which now scales with the polearm skill and stats recharged. Oh, amazing. I need to remember to use knightly charge more. Ransom all of these guys. Um, oh, there's another, there's another tawny here. I'm, I'm nearly at full strength. Uh, let's just trade all this stuff away. That we picked up. 
Swagtastic. Two-handed cleaver. Hmm. Oh, that's what I want. Ah, get a cape! I can't afford it, though. That's what we're working towards, everybody. The cape. Beautiful. Right, throw another save. Skaven aren't in yet. But one day. Imagine that, though. Be mental. Uh, let's wait. Yeah, a little bit lighter. And get my health up to 100%. Yeah, they're, they're doing everything in pairs. Like this this update they added in Moussillon and Bretonia. So I imagine at some point, I imagine they're going to do Orcs and Dwarves. That's quite a substantial one. Uh, I imagine the next, maybe the next update they, they do, maybe they do like a half update where they add in the northern part of Bretonia and Luan Lienka. Um, or maybe they just add in Luan and the Wood Elves or Luan and some Orcs or more of Marienburg. I don't know yet. But yeah, every every time I come back to this, it's it's truly, truly impressive as to what they've done. I mean, look at this is how tournaments go in Bretonia. It's a joust off. Oh. Yeah, it just resets you every time so you've got a fresh go at the list. Oh no. Were you with the bastards? I tried couching and uh that's what we get. Rippers. I'm just gonna stick to thrusting. I'm far more accurate with my thrusts. If in doubt, thrust it out. <sighs> hey, um, I mean, let's let's make our way slowly up the coast to check out Moussillon and see what kind of scary stuff they've got going on there. These early days before we can join a faction as well. Oh, hang on. What's this? The Broken Wheel Cult. Hang on. Are you cavalry? No, mainly infantry. Eventual cultists. Give it a go. You will be whoa! In flames, whoa, guys. whoa. Can you not load in without your clothes, please? Sir. Sir. It's the family friendly show. Whoa. Whoa. Right, let's go. Let's do it. Let's fight the, the cult of the broken wheel, or more, more, should be more aptly named the cult of the flashing peen. Because that's apparently what they like to do. Listen, all of you! Sabal of duty! Temple those coal! For the lady! Cavalry, follow me. Apparently, you can use withers to now remove a character. Uh, right, yeah. I don't know if we'd be able to add hit Battlesy back in, so I would won't risk it. These cultists are fairly well armoured. Like equipped. Like the ones we were facing over in the Empire. Only had like little staves and stuff like that. Come on, let's get a big old charge together, guys. Get 
Get him. I think that's actually our best bet for like forming up this battle line and for doing combat with the knights rather than just letting them constantly just run around. It's best to kind of set them back and then tell them to charge again. That works pretty well. I also realize why I'm accidentally setting off the um, knight charge. It's it's that's why I sit, press to look at where the enemies are and look around as well. Sometimes so I need to remember that. Did we lose anyone? No. Beautiful. Yeah, you're my prisoner now. Oh, sweet. Beautiful. Oh, we've got some nobles in there. I'm going to keep you and then recruit you to my cause. And make a questing knight. Oh, wow. Look at all that gold I just got. That's insane. Did we get that from that battle? Must have done. The questing that. Oh yeah, we got some cavalry. Beautiful. Finally, it's gonna be this is a good haul. Cracking haul. Right, uh, let's go to Chateau Frontier. Castle of the Frontier. The name I am Lionheart. You're whiny in honor of your teach day Lionheart to play Total War. Oh god, yeah, the um the uh she, did, she played as the Fae Enchantress, didn't she? Because she had a unicorn. No, I didn't. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, can't wait to get a full... I don't know. Can you get Hippogriff Knights? I don't know if you, you can get like elite... You can sometimes get like elite units, can't you? Um, yeah, I can... I can ransom you, can't I? Cult of the Broken Wheel. You have many enemies. I, I'm going to ransom you because I want some gold. So off you go. Monique, damsel of the lady. Let's have a chat. Yours is not a face I know. God, oh, yours is, is a. Your name, stranger? Wasn't quite expecting that. That is a. That's a hat and a half. My name is Fritz, madam. Tell me about yourself. I'm calling to help the sick and wounded. My life to the lady. In return, I've been given a gift for aiding her knights. I see. Twenty k. I uh, can't afford you right now, love. Why, why are we all sitting down? Hello. Hello. Nice staff though. Shiny. All right, let's sell some swag. Uh, let's keep the cavalry. Sell the light harnesses. Uh, there's a cape, but it's not better than what I've got. Sell it. Oh, this is the prophetess dress. Which will make me invisible. It's that powerful. It just it makes me disappear. Hang on. Bretonian Great Helm. Which I can't see, but I also can't afford it right now. But that's what we're working towards. The Great Helm. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Knight Errant Shield. I mean, that is really cool, rather cool. Bearded Axe. Yeah, they're, they're loading. Oh, it's because the shaders are compiling. That's why. I was like, why have I disappeared? Shaders compiling. The shaders are compiling. We won't worry about that. Oh, maybe I should have done. I think I may have frozen. Yeah. Oh. oh, no, there we go. Let the shaders compile, apparently, is the plan. There's also another tournament here, so in we go. But yeah, I, I want to check out the ba the Game of Thrones one, because from what I hear, that one's actually pretty well, like, fleshed out right now. Anyone got any experience of it so far? Get some boots, which I'm definitely going to sell. Right, I'm going to thrust. I'm not going to trust couching my lance here. Nyah. Oh, that hurt. Wait, come back here. Oh, it hasn't it hasn't reset us. I think it's because we haven't run to the... the there must be a, a trigger point where if you run to the end of the map, it resets you. Aha. Found a way to game the system. There we go. That's why. <laughs> go, go, go. Oh! Missed. Yeah, if I don't run to the full end, turn it around. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. That's going to reset me, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Depends if he keeps running on or not, doesn't it? Yeah. 
And go for souls. There we go. And then we have to get down and fight in the melee. Our shields are not that strong. Got him. Woo! Swap out my headset battery. Gadoosh. Okay. Right. Skip. Join. Charge! Was a lady? Got him right in the face. Facing Claude Lassant. He is indeed a nut of the realm. Excuse my outrageous and terrible ever changing French accent. Let me lance you. Tried. Nyah. Missed. Oh, I wish I wouldn't stop the momentum from the previous round. Oh, I broke his shield. Did he get a new one? No, he doesn't. That's good. Come on. Oh, I blocked it. on foot. I've got a shield. He doesn't. Oh, crap. No. You're so strong, sir. Sire, please. No, I'm just a lowly peasant. Damn it. Lord. Part of me is very tempted to face some beastmen right now. But also realize that that could be a terrible way to... Uh, Oh, they're already... F oh, they're fighting this guy. Ah, oh, rats. Very well. I shall recruit more nobles to my cause. What's the lady? Don't peasants. Just knights. You even got ships. Look at them. I don't think you can... I don't know if you can interact with them. But I mean, look how, look how beautiful they look. Just roaming around. They're big war galleys. I mean, just the modeling of the, the settlements is beautiful. Like, just full credit to this mod team. Phenomenal. Oh, is that where you get Regiments Renown? I mean, it says ROR on it. I would assume that's where you get Regiments Renown. Let's have a look. You could only recruit them from certain places in um, when I was playing in the Empire. Lots of cultists. Wow. Lands around when flee. Ah, yeah. So you can get them. You need to be at least tier three. Cool. That's where I can also get knights. Nice. I wonder what the regiments run out are. Is that the only place that says ROR? Maybe. That's where they've just thrown them in for now. Makes the most sense. This would be massive Orkel, wouldn't it? Next one, chat. Your mother was an Amster and your father smelled of elderberries. I should do. That'll, that'll show them. Oh, what was that? A knight errant straight away. Boom. And let's hunt down these Bretonian outlaws. You best let us be. 
There's dozens more of us hiding here, just waiting for our signal. Nice try. Brigand. Surrender or die. Oh, there's a bridge. We will wait for them to get out of the water and then we will charge. Go! I just want to see this charge. Pretty slow. Uh, there it goes. Oh, that's that's devastating. Bozza lady! On level! A fart in your general direction. Full tilt. Trample those cowards. Trample those cowards. <laughs> I thought you were saying trample those koalas for a little bit then. Right, don't hurt the koalas. What have they ever done to you? Oh, that was a great charge. Yes. Yes, mate. Yes. Right, pull back up here. Oh, them all. Just getting getting me ready for a Napoleon, Napoleon Total War campaign. I think it's probably my next historical series once I finish my uh, last Roman campaign. Charge! Charge! Right, we're going to use my Knight's Charge ability as well. Now, six seconds of maximum charge. Yes. That was big. But yep. Come back in. Questing Knight leading the charge there. Beautiful. I think we're going to struggle coming up against anyone that can beat us right now, which is good. Just keep farming these guys to get our renown up. Yeah, and soon the uh, Napoleon film as well. I'm kind of that's why I was kind of hoping I could finish up uh, Last Roman in time for the film and then tie, start the new series to tie up with it. I feel like that'd be pretty good because I guess if there's ever going to be a time where there's going to be lots of additional interest in watching all things Napoleonic, it's going to be when that film comes out. I'm looking forward to that as well. It looks it looks phenomenal from the trailer. Experience, combat tips, plus two per day to all troops or raise the meek. Uh, no, combat tips. Everybody. Everybody gets an upgrade. And if we gain another career point. Yeah, so it's going to go into that one. So we now get 10% extra melee damage while on horseback. Beautiful. Disorganized. I was like, what's that symbol? It's disorganized, isn't it? Yeah, let's go to Bordelow. Go to Bordelow. There's another tawny ear. Let's sell all the swag. Sell all the swag. Ooh, that's nice. I'll have to wait for the shaders to compile for that one. Right. Um, yeah, that, that's cool and all, but I actually kind of like that one. Plus, it gives me some arm protection as well. So, we'll leave that there. Pilgrim braces are about as good as what I've currently got. So, yeah, we'll just we'll just leave all that. Give me some more loot. I can get one more knight. Um, oh, yeah, I should actually... Let me just go over here so if I can recruit one more knight. We'll come back for that tournament. See if I can win one. I just want to get one more knight to finish off my collection. Yeah, there we go. Boom. All right, 24 out of 24. That'll only increase when we increase our renown a bit more. So we need to um, keep on fighting. Eligible for being a mercenary, yeah. So we'll be a mercenary Britonia if we want to. So here we go. Let's do this tawny. Or well, the ambassador. 
Uh, it's a one-handed. I was kind of hoping it was a two-handed one. That's what I need. A nice two-handed great sword. Got him in the first pass, in the first tilt. Lovely. Round two. Come on. Got him. Yeoman playing at night. Oh, silly yeoman. We're up against a knight errant now. Got him. Right in the head. Final round. The crowd cheer. Oh, we missed the first tilt. And again, we'll keep going. Oh, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to time it. If you time it so the, the la you launch your thrust really late. <laughs> then you can normally get a pretty good hit. I didn't want to do this because my fighting on foot isn't great. Looks like I've got a slightly faster swing. And his shield's gone. Oh. Got him. Victory. What was I fighting for? Oh, the sword, yeah. <laughs> yes. Is it better than my current one? Uh, 77 physical swing and 38 thrust. 71 and 42. I've got better thrusting, but that's got better swing. What's its reach? Uh, length 114. 104. So it's a slightly longer sword. Swing speed 92. 81. It's much slower. Weapon tier 4. This one's weapon tier 5. Yeah, I'm going to sell you. And what I'm going to do is buy myself some horses. Uh, more double saddle. I want ones that are gonna. Yeah, I want more palfreys if I can. Let's. Uh, yeah, you know, what? I'm gonna buy up to twenty of them. Have I got enough supplies actually as well? Uh, let's buy some more grain. Up to forty of it. And yeah, let's buy some beer. Nice. Right. So, yeah, how much more do we need now? 18. Let's go hunt some orc. I mean, hunt some cultists, probably. I want to find a good group of them, though. Oh, yeah, let's fight all of you guys. Back off, stranger. Unless you want... Attack. Prepare to charge. Charging. Charging. Nope. Oh, there's a there's a there's an axe in a stump there, guys. You you guys charge without me. Watch the charge of the Bretonian knights. Oh, and there it is. Slaughtered him. Okay, that was great. Do something very dangerous. I'm going to get down on foot and try and level up my uh, one handed attacks. Out! I have regrets. That's one hood down. Out. Oh no! Where'd you come from? Avenge me! Fritz has fallen. I'm just trying to level up me one-handed. Sword practicing. Well done, lads. Somebody help me back up.
questing knight to become a grail knight, you requires a lot of XP. But we're getting there. Basher or wrapped handles? Yeah, wrapped handles. And clean thrust. Who doesn't want a clean thrust? Yeah, clean thrust. We Bretonian charge certainly helped your one handed skill. <laughs> uh yes, go to we were going to Museum, weren't we? Just see what, what's what lies in the lands of the dead. Oh, I need to sell all these prisoners, don't I? Should be able to do it at Moussillon. Into the lands of the dead. Oh, traveling merchant. Here we go. While journeying along dusty roads, a unique sight unfolds before your eyes. A colorful caravan, a mobile emporium amidst the quiet landscape. Continue. As you draw near, the traveling merchant approaches. With a welcoming smile, he introduces you to the tales of distant realms and beckons you to take a look at his wares. Browse his wares. Oh my days, look at all these special things he's got. An Empire Rapier and Empire Greatsword. I want to yet. Can I can I kill the merchant and take his swag? Because I do not have enough money for this. Necromancer's staff. Oh wow. Oh look at that. Oh look at look how gorgeous that is. I should sell all this, shouldn't I? Oh, that's, that's, that's hot. Black Grail Knight boots. Blood Knight gauntlets. Oh, hubba hubba. If you're wondering why I'm getting so excited over armor, I have a thing for plate mail and for armor. Oh, I'm not getting any money for it yet. Reset. There we go. Good shout. Uh, you concluded your exploration of the merchant's array of treasures and with a respectful bow of the head, he extends the appreciation of your interests and choices. That's cool. Love a little, little route like that. To Mission. Oh, so they're they're humans. They're not all they're not all vampires, but there are some of them that are necromancers and vampires, I guess. Mission peasant levy become Mission longbowman yeoman. Oh, do they have a, I wonder if they've got a specific thing for becoming like undead or just blood knights or something like that. Ha ha ha. Sick. Not as bad as my medieval tutor wall drooling over the armor. That's true. I, uh. That's just a classic for me. Actually, yeah, why am I keeping the hardwood? I don't need hardwood. Oh, look at the capes. I doth love a cape. Uh, there's a tawny here, isn't there? I need to wait here for some time because I'm weakened. Yeah, I think I think my worst one for like drawling over armor was when I did my Isengard campaign for Third Age. Urukai plate armor is just. Noise. Noise, noise, noise. Oh, why am I not healing? Do I not heal in the land of the dead? Would make sense, I guess. Okay, while I'm here, I just want to have a look at um, what you can recruit. What there nightline is like. Oh, what's this? Charnold Hills. 
Centuries ago, the hills outside Moussillon were used as a mass grave to raise thousands who died of red pox. So many victims uh, were there that to this day the soil covering their pits is visible from the city walls. The air here is sometimes poisonous like the rest of the cursed land they belong to. Tap into the congealed essence of dark magic and bind some wraith to your will. Also, if you're a practitioner of necromancy, you can do that. Nice. That's cool. Oh, yeah, I'm taking attrition here. I think. And there's no healing here. Oh, that's mad. A chaos. How many of them are in that cultist hideout? Oh, here we go. Moussion ill-fated squire. So they start as an ill-fated squire, then become an outcast errant, then a knight of misfortune, then a doomed questing knight, and then a knight of the black grail. Okay, so they're all human. They're just not... Um, some of them can tap into necromancer. They're not actually undead. So it's not like the Red Duke. I'm assuming you get them actually from the Blood Keep, the Order of the Blood Dragon. Maybe. Maybe we should go visit. I did just heal up a little bit. Let's get out of here, Scoob. I'm now healing. That was fun. Bastone. Hello, everybody. How you all doing? Oh, the Fey Enchantress. You don't look particularly Fey enchantress -y. Have they not added in a custom model? Oh, no, there we go. That's better. Hi. Gracious Enchantress, I ask you for the Tomes and Scrolls that hold the keys to the Lady's Wisdom. What does that do? This book finds 5,000 writing experience. The need for steed. Oh, that's amazing. The need for steed. You guys win. The Art of Total War. That's for tactics. That's amazing. Until we meet again. In the sanctum is rather cool looking. Who is the leader of the factions then actually? Should probably have a look at that, shouldn't I? Honey tongue Monique. Oh, she's lovely. Oh yeah, okay, I need to Oh, was that, was that, I was going to recruit someone, but I think I've since... Yeah, I've since traded them away. Ransom all. No peasants needed, just Cav. Boom. Oh, the Grove of the Lady. Let's go to the Grove of the Lady. Who don't want to go to the Grove of the Lady? could pray for a blessing. Pray to receive the blessing of the lady. Let's do it. What gave items an offering? You need the offering perk in the faith skill line to perform. Oh. Praying. Is now a follower of the cult of the lady. I received the blessing. Oh. Where is faith? Ah, here we go. Do, 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 do. How do I gain faith? Use combat prayers. Gain access to all novice level battle prayers. Devotee of the lady. Divine mission. Um, so I just need to keep praying, I think, to level up my, my faith, I guess. I would you would think, right? Steward, frugal, wages for your party. Yeah. Nice. I have a blessing already active. How can I see if I, what my blessing is? 
Uh, yeah, also, where's the offering one? Devotee. Adept prayers. Grand prayers. Offering. Ah. Sacrifice, uh, sacrificial offering to gain renown. Oh my. Uh, yeah, can I can I find out what my what my blessing is? Ah, bless of the lady, plus twenty party morale. I was thinking it'd probably be something along here. High morale increases speed. So, okay, so it just gives us more morale. Oh, that's fine. Right, yeah, we're gonna go along here to the we're gonna go to the blood keep. Have a little wander there. We continue our great quest. Although there is, um, I think there is a horny there, but actually I'll, I'll hold off for now. We'll just wander on here while we're waiting. See if we can find that large army of beastmen so we can try and trample them. I reckon we could have them. It's a lot of. Another fool in this our domain. Another fool in this our domain. That is fantastic. Yeah, okay. Well, this, this oh, oh, there we go. There's the big army I wanted. 85 of them. 